There were 28 school shootings in the United States in 2021. Of those, of those 28, only three occurred in major American cities. Brightest Minds and Politics are here to talk about what happened and what should happen next. Political commentator Christina Gonzalez, joined by BNC contributor Amisha Cross and Democrat Josh Lopez. Um, Amisha, I'll begin with you. I was there at Columbine, 1999, at the school massacre that put the issue of school shootings in the national spotlight. A Washington Post study saying that since Columbine, 85 percent of the school shooters brought the weapons either from home or were given them by a friend or a relative. And I bring it up this way. We are now seeing the children of that generation armed to the teeth and taking guns to school. It's almost as if their parents learn nothing. You're absolutely right. And um, 99, when Columbine happened, I was living in Florida. I was a small child. Um, but Pearl High School, 97, which actually preceded um, Columbine, I was a small child in the great state of Mississippi. Um, and it happened literally 10 minutes away from the school I was going to. So I, I think that through the years, we've seen iterations of kids having to wear clear, carry clear backpacks, having their lockers checked. We all know that in the modern era, we've had so many drills of having to hide, you know, tuck and roll, basically hide behind desk, learn the process and procedure of if there's an emergency situation with an active shooter. Kids learn this as early as preschool these days. And you do make a very good point. In the majority of these cases where there is a high school student or, um, or younger who commits an act of violence on a campus, these are young people who are getting the guns from their parents. So there should be uh, some liability for the parents in terms of making sure that their guns are locked up, making sure that there is no access for these young people. It's frustrating because time and time again, we learn that the guns were obtained illegally, i.e. from somebody who wasn't able to purchase them on their own, but the person who actually purchased them lived in the same home as the shooter themselves. So I think that there does have to be some liability on the parent because time after time, now going on two and a half decades, we have seen this occur in the exact same fashion. There has to be some level of parental responsibility. Christina, two questions. One, if this was a black and brown kid, would we be having the debate as to whether or not this 15-year-old would be named? And the other thing is, obviously, it is not working with regard to the children. Should the parents who get the gun, should they be the ones who wind up being prosecuted? Um, I obviously think that this situation would be reported differently if the shooter were a black or brown student. Um, I'm always hesitant to create more laws that prosecute people only because the people that are usually prosecuted under those laws are generally black people. Um, so the more laws that we create that incarcerate people, the people that um, that, that holds true for are is generally the black community. So I'm usually hesitant to create those types of laws um, that would create those punishments for mostly black parents. Let's be real here. Um, in this sort of situation when there's another school shooting, I think it's also really important to notice um, that shootings in Michigan, 60% 60 per, 60 of them are death by suicide. So when we talk about gun violence, it's important to obviously talk about the supply of guns and, and gun laws and gun restrictions, but also the demand. What is causing the gun violence in the first place? Um, when we talk about gun violence in this situation, it's, 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 really, it's really sad because it happens at a school, it happens to young children. But the larger picture is also that it is generally happening to people who are struggling with their mental health. So I would prefer to go through that route rather than prosecution. How can we address the reasons why these shootings are happening? And how can we come to terms with the mental health crisis that, are, that people of all ages in this country are facing? I think one of the things that we have to be realistic about is one of the reasons that people with mental health issues aren't taking their lives via a knife is because there are 389 million firearms in circulation. Josh, according to the Gun Violence Archive, this is the 651st mass shooting in the United States this year. 19,000 Americans have died. Meanwhile, support for gun control at its lowest since 2014. The latest Gallup poll showing that only 52% of Americans think that the laws covering the sales of firearms should be more strict. How can these two worlds possibly exist? You know, Adele, good morning. Uh, this is tragic. Uh, it's senseless. Uh, it, we should not normalize these kind of events. Uh, as it relates to this case, I'd have to agree with Amnesia, um, with my colleague here, that 
there should be criminal charges against the parents, particularly the father uh, who purchased this gun on Friday. How did this young man get a hand, get a hold of this gun, uh, you know, within days uh, and able to bring it to school and shoot fellow students? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, authorities should definitely look at the parents here. And also, there were reports of students uh, staying home that day. Uh, there, apparently, there was a rumor going around that there was going to be a shooting. How did authorities, how did school administrators miss this? Uh, where was the proactive approach in, you know, potentially even stopping this from happening in the first place? There's a bunch of questions uh, going around uh, as it relates to this case. You are right. Columbine was not the last. It was also not the first. You're right, Amisha. There was Pearl, Mississippi, and the debate as to whether or not what happened in Mississippi would happen elsewhere. And no one paid attention to it then. The question is, will anyone pay attention to it now?